flaky, crumbly and creamy all at once, the decadent French desserts, the millefeuille. which translate to a thousand leaves or a thousand layer, is one of the most delectable pastry out there. Follow me, because today we are veganizing it. Hello guys, it's Valentine. Welcome back to the Vegan Sweet Addiction. And Happy New Year, we wish you all the best. Today, we're going to make the infamous millefeuille. And even better, some homemade vegan puff pastry for the more adventurous among you. The recipes for all those goodness are going to be linked down below. You can also find it on vegansweetaddiction.com. And feel free to like, comment and share our videos. It really do help us a lot. You can also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming videos. So I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Let's jump into the recipe. Look, this recipe is no rough puff pastry or fake puff a full puff or whatever the puff. Okay, well I'm sure many people are familiar with puff pastry, but the kind from the store. And I understand it's convenient and all, but it's so much more than that. To put it briefly, puff pastry is a laminated dough, or literally a just very simple wheat dough and butter, vegan butter for us, multiplied by layers. It's kind of like croissant, but without yeast. And it's much more versatile. This is the same stuff that is used for Wellington, for example. There are a lot of things that are made with puff pastry. Making your own is widely different. We are not going to say brand names, but you should make your own. Alright, this is a really minimal ingredients kind of thing. So you're gonna start by combining all of your ingredients and then put the oak attachment until it just incorporated and all the flour is hydrated and you're good to go. You can also do this by hand. Just make sure not to overwork the dough. We've got the perfect dough ready to be rolled out. Shape it into a square, avoiding bending it or working it too much. Wrap it in a clean film and let it rest for at least two hours in the fridge. Now we will spread the vegan block margarine in order to obtain a rectangle. The best way to do that is this little trick with wax paper. Take a sheet of wax paper and place your margarine in the center of it and fold the wax paper so that the edges make an 8 by 6 inches or 15 by 20 centimeter rectangle. And then simply just roll your vegan butter out to fill in those edges until you have a perfect rectangle. Roll your dough so that it is twice the size of your margarine. Place the rectangle of margarine in the center of the dough before folding both sides of the dough over to envelop it. Now we are gently going to roll our dough. It should be three times longer than it is wide. Once the length has been reached, 
fold the dough in three, like a napkin. Fold the top part of the rectangle third of the way down and the bottom third up, overlapping the top, creating a letter sheet, you know, like a brochure essentially. This is the first fold. This operation is called giving a simple turn. Turn your dough a quarter to the right. After 10 minutes in the fridge, repeat the operation. Press the top and bottom of the puff pastry with a rolling pin so that the layer do not shift. Then roll out and fold again. Now I would recommend to mark your package to keep track of the folding. Otherwise, it's going to get really confusing real quick. Two folds. Place the puff pastry for at least two hours in your fridge. It is best overnight. After the resting stage, flour your work surface again and put the dough and once again give it a simple turn. Turn the dough and finally give the fourth simple turn. One, two, three, four fold. Leave the dough to rest in the fridge for two more hours. Our first step is going to be the vanilla pastry cream that I'm going to use for the vanilla mousse. Did you know that vanilla is the only edible fruit in the orchid family, the largest family of flowering plants in the world. There is over 150 varieties of vanilla plants. Just like grapes that make wine, there is not two vanilla beans that are the same in flavor, aroma or color. In an heavy bottom saucepan, I will bring to a boil the vegan milk and the vanilla pot, sliced in half and scraped. In another bowl, I'm going to combine the cornstarch and sugar. Once the milk is salt, I will gradually dilute the dry ingredient within the oat milk. Then put it back on the heat and bring to a boil for one minute without stopping stirring with a whisk. Once it's cooked, I'm going to remove it from the heat and add the vegan butter. But I forgot, so I'm going to add the vegan butter now. After that, I will transfer my custard to a container, wrap it in cling film and leave it to cool. Turn the dough once again a quarter turn and give it the last single turn. Roll out the puff pastry into three rectangles of 35 by 11 cm or 14 by 4 inches. Place each rectangle on a baking sheet covered with pattern paper and prick with a fork. Cover with pattern paper Place the second plate on top, identical to the first. It will add pressure and prevent the dough from rising too much during baking. I'm cutting my puff pastry in order to make two different millefeuilles. If you want to do the same as me, for reference, I did 6 cm wide slices of puff pastry. I'm going to whip my whipped cream until it's light and fluffy. And for the record, it is a new and improved version of my homemade vegan whipped cream that I'm going to share in the future. For now, if you want my old recipe, it's still on my website. Once our pastry cream has cooled down, 
we're going to loosen it with a whisk. I'm going to gently incorporate my whipped cream into my vanilla custard and then put it in a piping bag. Now, the fun step. We're going to present it. There is a lot of ways you could present a millefeuille, but I'm going to show you the two more obvious ones. For a glazed and shiny finish and a more old-fashioned way to eat a millefeuille, I will do the infamous fondant and chocolate crossing present on the OG millefeuille. With a round piping bag, I'm going to pipe the vanilla diplomat cream onto the rectangle of puff pastry. At this step, for more fun, you could also add some homemade caramel praliné or even fresh strawberries. But for now, I'm going to show you the simplest vegan milfeuille, vanilla. Put it in the fridge for at least 10 to 20 minutes to ensure the pressure is not too much for the cream. Now, we're going to place one rectangle of puff pastry over the other and the final one on top. Heat the fondant with the water and mix with the spatula until it's melted but not too hot to the touch. Pour the fondant over the millefeuille. Smooth it well with a spatula. Make even stroke of chocolate over the frosted millefeuille. For a more modern millefeuille, I'm going to present it on its side with the pretty vanilla whipped cream on top. Okay, we are all done and now before we can go to my favorite part, eating, we're going to have to go through hell and cut it into somehow presentable slices. Trust me, it's all worth it, but it's clearly not the easiest dessert to cut. Okay, it sure looks pretty, but I need to try it. Just for you, just to be safe, you know? You're never too safe. No other reason, just for you guys. Let's give it a go. Thank you. Welcome back from hell, Valentine. It was not hell, actually. I was yeah. clearly overreacting. <laughs> it's funny to see how Milfei, it's, it's clearly a pretty simple and fast forward dessert. But it's so divine and so great and fresh and creamy and light to eat. It's just perfect. Definitely my favorite dessert before being vegan. I'm so happy to but <laughs> see him we... again. Sorry. <laughs> but today we all know that being vegan is not an excuse to, to not eat meal pie. Thank you to vegansradiction.com. <laughs> all right, guys. So, puff pastry, it wasn't so bad, no? It's hurt of so many great things. And I think it was a good one. And vegan, thank you for tuning in. And I hope you guys like it too. So if you enjoyed this video, learn anything, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.